What is up guys? So today I just got a new bait in from a buddy of mine straight out of Japan and I'm going to be doing a little quick unboxing and kind of just an overview of the bait. Like I said in like a few videos back that whenever I get a new bait in I was, I was going to kind of show you guys you know the bait that I get, why I'm going to get it and hopefully um, just show you a sick bait. So we're going to open this up. So the bait that I got is the DRT Clash. It's the nine inch version. You guys can see here. And what this bait pretty much is, is it, a lot of guys kind of describe it as like a pretty giant jerk bait or even a crank bait because it does come with a bill. And now this bait has a super erratic action I'm not too familiar with this bait entirely just because I've never really fished one or seen one swim. So I'm really going to be doing a lot of experimenting with this bait. But from what it looks like and what I've seen a lot of dudes talk about, this bait gets bit. So I'm going to be kind of throwing this around um, for the next couple of trips. I'm probably going to throw up like a swim video if I kind of get the action down on the bait just to show you guys what it swims like. But it's a pretty sweet looking bait. We're gonna get some B roll of it right now. We ain't dead yet. nine inches long it does come with a bill you can also detach the bill now this is the this is the low float so it, it there's two versions of this bait there's a floater where it just floats and then this one is I believe it goes down a few inches under the water so it's right below the surface and now depending of course on your hooks and other hardware you could probably get this bait to be you know a perfect slow sink now there's different variations on what you can do with this tail. There's so many different modifications with this bait that you can do that I'm gonna have to really experiment with it, kind of see which one fits my style of fishing. So that's gonna be a fun bait to kind of fish around. Now in like the crankbait mode with the bill in, I'm probably gonna be cranking this around shallow rock, especially right now because these fish are up in the rocks right now in the shallows, you know, feeding around. So I think this bait's gonna be perfect for that. And then maybe during the summertime, when the grass really starts to come up high, I might take out the bill and just use this as like a jerk bait right above the grass. So there's gonna be a lot of applications that I'm gonna be using this bait for, and I honestly cannot wait to start fishing this bait. So what I'm probably most likely gonna be throwing this bait on is 20 or 25 pound mono. It's nine inches long. I believe it weighs around four and a half, five ounces. It's kind of decently heavy. So that's kind of the setup and gear that I'm going to be using for this bait. So again, I'm not really 100% sure on what to do with this bait. That's why I'm going to have to be doing a lot of, you know, experimenting with this bait. But what I know for a fact though is I always like to switch out the treble hooks on all of my hard baits. Now I've got quads on here. This is the uh, size one. Yeah, this is the size one quads here that I've got on there. Um, I absolutely love these quads. And I absolutely love those quads. Um, they got four single hook points and they're absolutely sticky, sticky sharp. So I've got those on there. Um, but if you guys do get these quads, they are on the heavier side. So sometimes they will make your bait either sink faster um, if you're not prepared or even slower sometimes. So just be warned about that, but they are absolutely amazing hooks. I love them. So that's the DRT Clash Low Float and uh, one of the trout colors. It's a really, really sweet looking bait. I just can't wait to get around to fishing this bait. So look, some, look for some videos coming out here next week about the swim on this, on this bait and uh, hopefully I get something figured out with it. 
And just before I end this video, I did have somebody ask me what kind of knots that I use for my big swim baits. So I'm going to quickly go over the two knots that I use. So the very first knot that I'm going to be showing you guys is the clinch knot. It's the one that I use for all of my conventional as well as my smaller swim baits. When I mean smaller swim baits, I mean 10 inches and kind of under. Now it does depend on the 10 inch swim bait. So if I'm throwing like a depth 250, I will be tying a clinch knot on it. So I got this bait knocker lure retriever here it's got these two eyelets here i'm just going to be using this one real quick and i've got this kind of green rope here so it's kind of visible for you guys so all you do is grab one of your taggins run it through the uh one of the eyelets which would be like your hook or your split ring to your bait or whatnot and i go maybe you know three or four inches of the tagging and i grab it here and with that being like that, I pinch it down here to where I am able to leave a little space down here. So I'll grab that and I will just wrap this around seven to eight times, you know, depending on, you know, the line diameter and whatnot like that. I'll just wrap it around and be, so you got this loop down here, you guys can see that, and then the tag in up here. So all you have to do is get this tag in back through that loop that you made and then just grab it. Now just make sure that you kind of pull away a little bit up here and you got the tag in down here. Now before I do this with fishing line I always like to wet it with my saliva or with the water or whatnot so that it's sleek. So then I start to kind of pull. Sometimes I do um, push it down a little bit just like that and then bam you got your knot down there. And then, of course, you clip your tag end, and you're good to go. I absolutely love this knot. Um, it's very, very quick and easy to tie. Um, I don't like to spend a whole lot of time retying, but when I do retie, I want it to be quick and easy so I can get back out on the water. And this knot really is solid. It's strong, um, and it's, it's easy to do, and it's quick. So that's why I like the clinch knot the best. Now, for the second knot, um, this one's a little more difficult to kind of do. My buddy Manny Chi, he showed me this one. Now, I use this knot for my bigger swim baits. So, like my 11 inch soft tool or my Hinkle trout or anything, you know, 9 ounces and above, 8 ounces and above, I will be using this knot. And the knot is the double uni. Now, again, I'm just going to show you guys with the string here. I go right back through the eyelet. So you got, so now that you've gone through that, what you want to do is with this tag end is you want to go right back through. Now don't push it all the way through, but just kind of feed line. So I got my tag end here in my right hand, and I've got this loop on the left side. And now that I've got a decent amount of room, I'm going to stop right there. Now what you want to do is you want to bring this loop and this side together. kind of just together and then pinch it about halfway down about halfway down now you want to grab that loop section only the loop section you can leave the other parts alone and you want to start looping it around the four strands that you have down here and you want to go up and I will usually wrap wrap around yeah, three to five times Alright, so then now that you have that tag in loop that you went through, you want to just cinch that down. So you just have this two left. And now what I like to do is I like to just start pushing this knot down towards the base. I'll push it down just like that. And then I'll make sure that I got this. So out of it all, you're going to have this long tag in and then a loop. And then your main line going out. So you got your tag in, got your loop, and then the knot. And all you have to do is snip this tag in and the loop, and you're good to go from there. 
and that's how you do the double uni. Just kind of practicing it until you get it perfect. I know it took me a little while to, you know, kind of perfect the knot and whatnot, but it's it's a really, really strong knot. I'm using it usually with 30 pound, and it, let me tell you, with 30 pound, it seems like an unbreakable knot, honestly. And I absolutely love it. I've gotten, you know, quicker and better at it so it doesn't take so much time to do. But if you're really throwing those bigger swim baits or any really bigger bait, then I would definitely do the double uni. Thank you guys so much for watching this kind of two-part video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna be getting out hopefully next week and doing some bass fishing. I've got another video coming up here in a couple days of a little fish that I caught on the depth of 50. I'm gonna kind of be going over you know how I got that fish to bite it a bit right next to the boat that you guys will see. Um, so I'm going to be kind of doing a video on how to turn followers into biters with glide baits. So it should be a really solid video. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that. Other than that though, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, chase your dreams.